it's time to get ready for barbecue season. Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. My name is Sarah and I am dreaming of the upcoming barbecue season and I can't wait until it's warm enough to uh, do a lot of grilling outside, have barbecue parties, grill up some burgers and some brats and some hot dogs. Well, just recently I was requested by Robin from the McCray Family Homestead uh, to do a video on my homemade hot dog buns. Um, now, a while ago I did a video on my homemade hamburger buns and if you haven't checked out that video, I will put a link to that up here. Um, but hot dog buns are just as yummy and really just as easy as hamburger buns. So today um, I'm going to teach you how to make homemade hot dog buns uh, and it gives you a little bit of time to practice a little bit before the big barbecue season comes up and to prepare for um, birthday parties and Easter parties and graduation parties, 4th of July parties. Okay, I'll spare you the rest. Uh, but to get practicing on those. Um, today, I'm going to do a double batch because I want to show you two different ways to form the hot dog buns uh, so that maybe you can try both and see which kind you like better and which kind maybe you would feel most comfortable uh, trying. Uh, so let's get started baking. I have all of the ingredients assembled. I just want to go over them with you really quickly. Now, I will be posting the recipe uh, in the description below, so you don't have to worry about taking notes and writing down measurements and that kind of thing. Um, so that will be very helpful. Uh, so I'm going to be using today um, organic all-purpose flour, uh, just some regular old yeast. It's the instant quick rise yeast. Um, olive oil, sugar, we use uh, non-GMO sugar, uh, some milk, uh, two eggs. I'm using duck eggs today. It's not required to use duck eggs. Uh, we just love them and they're superb for baking. Um, and I'm also uh, using pink Himalayan salt. Now, I talk a lot in my videos about the pink Himalayan salt, and I always show it to you in like the big jar I keep it in, uh, but I just happen to reorder it. Um, I buy it on Amazon, it's a super good deal. Um, I buy it in 10 pounds at a time, but I split it with a friend. And so I just wanted to show you the package it comes in. Now, the reason why we get pink Himalayan salt is it still has all the natural minerals in it that are extracted out of table salt. Um, and it actually has a lower sodium content, so it's not as harsh on your body as uh, table salt. Um, and the reason why I like this brand, the Sherpa Pink Salt, is you can choose whatever uh, coarseness of the salt granules as you would like. Um, a lot of times in the grocery store you find pink Himalayan salt in like a grinder and they're like really big pieces and you're like how am I ever going to use that? Uh, but uh, this brand, the, the Sherpa Pink Salt, um, I actually get the extra fine grain and it's just the same consistency as like table salt in a shaker. Uh, it works really well for us. So um, if you're interested in learning more about this you can check this out um, in our Amazon store and I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. Okay, so we're gonna get started super easy. easy. Into the mixer we're putting five cups of all-purpose flour. Remember though I'm doubling this and also remember you can get the measurements and everything in the description below. Four teaspoons of yeast. One, two, Three, four. I count out loud because half the time I forget what I'm on. So kind of like, you know, counting for hide and go seek. I count really loud. One, two. That way don't forget, I'm getting old. Four tablespoons of sugar. One. And two teaspoons of salt, see? I barely made it getting my uh, last order on time. What did I say, two? Yeah, two teaspoons of salt. One. Two. 
That's it for the dry ingredients. Now we gotta get that mixed up. Now we're gonna be mixing in uh, two cups of milk. This has been warmed to about 110 degrees. You want it between 110 to 120 degrees. Uh, followed by four tablespoons of olive oil and then two room temperature eggs. generally mixed in. We're going to turn the mixer on to high and let it all mix together for two minutes. My timer has gone off and um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch from um, just the mixing blade or whatever you call this to the, the bread hook or the dough hook. Uh, to finish everything out. So I'm just going to scrape all this dough off of here and then switch to my bread hook. Now, not too long ago, um, my mixer was starting to like sound pretty crazy, sounding just awful, like maybe it was about to break and it was smoking and stuff, like right around the time that we were um, grinding meat uh, when Kevin got some deer. And uh, so actually he tore my entire KitchenAid mixer apart and re-greased the entire thing. And um, if you're interested in learning about that, he did a video um, and I will go ahead and put a link to that video which has been helpful to many, many people. I'll put the link right up here. Okay, all set with that. Now, uh, the next step is to uh, turn the mixer back on low and then we're gonna mix in additional flour until it becomes a ball or a mass in the middle. Um, now, I have found that um, using organic all-purpose flour for some reason always requires more than the recipe calls for. Uh, the recipe calls for, in this case, because we're doubling it, um, about half a cup more of flour. Uh, but I have found that it may take double that amount. So I'm going to be adding some, letting it mix, adding some, letting it mix until it forms a ball um, and looks the consistency that is about right for this recipe. ready to get on to the kneading board. Okay, so here it is inside of here. Uh, we need to pull it out. I have this little dough scraper thing. We need to put it out, pull it out and put it on this board. Now, uh, Kevin has made this uh, board. I don't think it's really anything special, but you know, to be honest, he is actually uh, the, the dough baker around here. Really anything that has to do with yeast other than this one recipe. Uh, he takes care of. So this is his kneading um, board, which he really loves. Um, so I'm going to use that today. Uh, so we're just going to put some flour down on here like I just did and uh, scrape this dough out of here until it like plops onto the board. And then we need to knead it. There we go. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more flour on top of it and just rub it around. Uh, to make sure that it's not sticking all to my hands. I just, uh, I'm just covering it with flour so it doesn't stick to everything. Um, and then we're just gonna knead this 50 times. Okay, all kneaded. So this needs to rest for 10 minutes, okay, before we can get started uh, cutting it into the hot dog shapes and putting it into the pans. Uh, so we need to cover it. Um, I like to use a little tea towel uh, just to make sure it's completely covered. And we'll just let it rest here 
uh, for about 10 minutes. All right, well, it has uh, rested for 10 minutes, and so now we're going to start forming our hot dog buns. Uh, like I told you, we're, I doubled this recipe so I can uh, teach you two different ways to make hot dog buns. Uh, the first way um, is what I do normally, um, but the hot dog buns don't come out very uniform. Uh, I think it's a lot easier to make hamburger buns because you can just form them uh, more uniformly. I think they're more forgiving than hot dog buns. Uh, but hey, they're homemade and you know what's in them. Um, the more you practice, the better you'll get. Uh, but the second way, I'll tell you a secret, I've never done the second way before, so this is gonna be like an on-camera trial, uh, but I think it might work out really well and maybe even better. So um, if it's a complete, total, embarrassing failure, um, you know, we're all friends, right? <laughs> anyway, so let's get started. We uh, need to cut this baby in half. We'll work with half at a time. Um, in the meantime, while the other one is not being turned into hot dog buns. Uh, we'll cover it back up and just move it over to the side, okay? Uh, make sure that you still have, um, you know, enough flour on your board that uh, it's not gonna stick. Put you over there. We'll cover that back up so it doesn't get too dry, okay? Now, always keep a little bit of flour on your board. Uh, because as we cut these up and stuff, there's going to be um, sticky pieces and we need to make sure that those get a little bit of flour on them, okay? So, let's get started. I am going to be putting these or uh, turning these into 10 hot dog buns per recipe. So we're making 20, uh, but out of this batch, we're going to make um, 10. So I'm gonna bring you up a little bit closer so you can see a little bit easier what I'm doing. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut this in half, okay? So I know that I need to get um, five pieces out of this section and five pieces out of this section. Remember, this part is sticky, so I'm putting a little bit of flour on there. Let's set that aside for now. Sticky. Okay, so now this is what I have to work with. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this into kind of a, a little rectangle thingy so that I can try to cut five pieces out of here that have the same amount of dough. Um, you know, this is homemade, so not everything's gonna be perfect, all right? So that would be half, right? So, um, Okay, so we've got five pieces. I'm just gonna, you know, roll these a little bit in some flour so they're not sticky. Okay. And then we're just going to roll them into hot dog bun shapes, okay? Now on this pan over here, this is uh, a baking pan. It's one of the Pampered Chef baking pans, which I actually really love. Um, I don't sell Pampered Chef. I'm not connected with them any, in any way, but their, their um, products are really good. So uh, this, is, this pan is gonna hold 20 uh, hot dog buns, 10 on one side and 10 on the other. Okay, so we're gonna equally space these uh, they're not going to touch uh, because we're hoping that they'll, when they rise, they'll touch a little bit, okay? So second one, we're hoping that they'll be kind of the same thickness and the same, um, same length, okay? Okay, so we're going to evenly space these so when they rise... Uh, it'll look nice. Okay, so that's the first half. Okay, so that's how I've done it all these, all this time that I've made hot dog buns. That's how I've formed them. Yeah. Okay, so this is my experiment. 
and you all are coming along for the ride. What I want to do is make like a long rectangle. Basically, I want it. And then I'm just going to use a rolling pin just a little bit, okay? And I'm hoping to be able to just cut them all from this rectangle. Okay, so we need to get 10 out of here, right? Let's try, let's try. This looks like half. Okay, they're all cut, but I just wanna make sure that they're all flowered you know, on the, on the seams where they're kind of a little sticky. And then I'm just gonna do a, just a quick forming. I think the only the end ones that are kind of rounded are the ones that are gonna need forming. Okay, let's put that there, okay? I think from now on, this is the way I'm gonna do it. Seems a lot less intimidating. Okay, so they're all in there. I'm just going to make sure they're equally, evenly spaced. I'll show you how they look. So that's how they look on there. Now this side over here is the one that I kind of formed by hand. And then this one over here is the side that I did kind of the loaf, the loaf style cutting. I think they look pretty good. Now what we need to do um, is cover them with a tea towel, put them in a warm place. And we have a fire going in the um, wood stove. So I'm gonna put them over by the wood stove. And then we want them to get puffy, uh, to definitely double in size. Uh, we want them all touching and squishing together to make really nice looking um, hot dog buns. Okay, they're ready to go into the oven. And I do want to show you, there is quite a bit of visual difference between the two sides. Okay, so this side here is the first side that I did that I formed more by hand. And this side over here is what I put kind of into a loaf and then sliced. So I think overall, uh, I like the hand formed side better, although I was hoping that this side would turn out nicely because in the end, I mean, it did take me a little bit less time um, than this one, but overall these are looking really nice. So it's time to put these in the oven. These are going into a 375 degree oven and we will bake them for 15 minutes. Uh, if they are golden brown, we will take them out. If not, we'll leave them in for a couple more minutes. Okay, well, here we are. Here they are all done from the oven. It took just 15 minutes. Uh, in the oven on 375. Uh, now, I forgot to tell you that these ended up needing about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes of time to rise. Um, so if you look at the ones that I have done here, uh, the row closest to me are the ones that I had hand formed and the ones uh, nearer to the counter are the ones that I did kind of in that loaf style. Um, they all turned out just fine. Um, you know, the thing with homemade is that not everything is perfect like in the store. Um, and I think, you know, that's fine. Hopefully, um, if you're having guests over, they'll understand as well. Uh, but we absolutely love this recipe. We love it for not only hot dog buns, uh, like I said, but hamburger buns, dinner rolls, and just plain loaves of bread. The next step for these guys is to cool. Uh, and once they're cool enough to touch, you can take them off and put them on a wire rack to cool completely. Uh, you can separate them and then with a serrated knife, you can cut them down the middle uh, just until the end, not all the way through, otherwise they'll fall apart. So I am so glad that you guys stopped by to learn how to make hot dog buns. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, before you go, uh, make sure that if you're not already a subscriber, that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Uh, we love comments and we would love for you to share this with people. Um, until next time, you guys, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.